Assalamu alaikum. Hey bestie, welcome to today's vlog. It's not a vlog. <laughs> this is not a vlog. It is kind of anyways, welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing well. So let's chat. Let's have a bit of you know one-on-one. -on -one. As I do my skincare, I'm fresh. I've showered, I've scrubbed my body, I've prayed. And I am feeling so good, alhamdulillah. Before I start my, uh, you know, our session, you know, before I give you the tea, this is my favorite body scrub recently. If you live in Turkey, I bought from, uh, not gratis, Watson. And I think Watson, you can get it in Asia, Watson in Malaysia, Indonesia, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, like it is a coconut scent. It's a body mist nothing nothing uh, comes close to coconut spray so this is good it feels like guys i'm cooking the vegetables so today i've decided to make what is it called some soup and then i'm gonna have with the baguette my plan was to cook sukar and malawah but i was like i had malawah not yesterday the other day and i only have but today and tomorrow left so that I can finish my fasting. So here's what I'm cooking today. It's just a basic vegetable soup. These are my spices. I have cumin, I have cilantro mixed no parsley mixed with uh, garlic. I have garlic, I have some uh, cumin that is the salt. This is suma with oregano and mint. And then I have turmeric and then I have this is uh, what is it called? Uh, chicken, chicken, what is it called? The chicken bouillon. This is what I'm having. And then I have, this is the star of the soup today. This is mantar. What is mantar called in English? I've even forgotten the English word. Mushroom. <laughs> so this is mushroom. I have uh, carrots, I have zucchini, I have, uh, what is this called? I even forgot, oh my god. What is this called? I forgot this, some tomatoes, no, potato, and uh, onion, of course. As you can hear, the oil is oil. Because he's a Bahiri, he doesn't believe in Qiyas. He does not believe in what? Qiyas says, I mean, my memory. SubhanAllah, he memorized what he was writing. He was, from memory, he was writing it. Rahimahullah ta'ala. And he, in the late, later days of his life, he started to, he was exiled from the land, and he was told to stay in his land of birth. And he stayed there, and he started to write. And he died, Rahimahullah, with his death. And he passed away. Um, the the Mu'arriq al-Barakishi in his kitab. And they took over. And in Maghrib al-Arabi, 
دولة الموحدين ميد يعني obliged it. If you read it in the Kitab Nasr al-Tib by al-Baqari, he mentioned that al-Mansur Ya'qub told all of the Maliki books should be brought to me. They were brought, just like Ibn, his one was burnt. He said, put them all here. And all of them were put here and they were burnt. When they were burnt, he, looked, he went to me. Ibti al jamal Zunak anti ya salam Mara wahda shuftik Hasitana bil gharam Nil jabti ya al jamal Zunak anti ya salam Mara wahda shuftik Hasitana bil gharam Wala khamsa yijuni Wala sabah yijuni Wala ashara yijuni Habibi anti ya diyali I'm celebrating because I finished fasting Shawwal and I'm so happy. <laughs> To me, I love it. Anything coconut, it feels so fresh and actually cold. Ooh. It feels better than the ones in Victoria's Secret. <laughs> yeah, and actually, it's long lasting. If like I've sprayed right now, I can actually feel the same the scent till tomorrow. That is how good the scent is. I love it. Anyways. Let's do my skincare as we talk about racism in Istanbul, racism in Turkey in general. So this is what I'm going to use. This is my AHA and BHA. I have shaved my face. I've also scrubbed. And right now I just want to put, you know, hydrating stuff. So let me do this. If I'm looking here because I have a mirror here. So I've been asked about this on my Instagram and i've seen a couple of people commenting you know on my on my videos they're like how is there racism in turkey like how is your experience have you ever experienced racism can you give us your story so today i am here because i never give you that story one because i've never experienced racism that is why i didn't talk about it and actually it does not sit right or it does not sound right to talk about something you haven't experienced i have seen my close friends experience it i have seen it but i didn't experience personally until recently and that is why now i can speak from my perspective and what do, what i think that is yeah so i'm here let's now hear from my perspective i experienced racism not recently ago not long ago I think it was the last day of Ramadan, the last day of Ramadan, I was just out, you know, I was doing some shopping and then I, this is still today, I think it's been two months, I remember that guy, if right now he comes, like, if I see his face again, I'll remember him, I can identify and what is it called? So I was just, it was actually in the metro. I was going to the metro. And then you see how like the metros, they have a lift. So I was in the lift. Another woman came in the lift and then the guy came in the lift. Context, the guy is old, okay? He's an old guy. He's like around his 50s, 40s, no, 50s, around 60 there. He was an old guy. So we were just the three of us and... Uh, I don't know what happened to that guy. He started rumbling around. He started talking shit. And he did not just verbally abuse me, but he abused the whole of Africa. <laughs> he abused the whole of Africa and he abused the whole of foreigners who live here in Istanbul, in Turkey. And uh, I speak the language, so I understand but i did not tell him and i did not respond i wanted to respond because i have sometimes it is good to speak up for yourself that is what i feel like and sometimes like it's good to clap back no matter what these people say 
you need to clap back give them the energy they give you do you feel me do you know do you understand what i mean so that is how i wanted but the fact that i was fasting and he was an old guy i was like amina you know just zip your mouth don't talk uh don't even like let him know you're understanding what he's talking so the guy kept on talking he's like i've hated my country these people are taking over my country these black people literally he was like oh these african people these ugly people i am praying he's like i am praying they leave the country and you know they go back to their own country you know i don't like these people they're ugly they're blah 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 they have made our country expensive that guy went on for whole two minutes talking and i was standing behind him and i was like imagine i was in the lift what if that guy actually physically assaulted me because right now he just verbally assaulted me. I was like, thanks God he did not do anything physically to me. But imagine if I was alone. Imagine if he physically assaulted me. That could have that could have been so bad. And I also felt safe for two reasons. One, there was another woman with me. And actually she was surprised. She was a fellow Turkish woman. She was literally surprised. She didn't even respond. She was like, her jaw dropped because you don't expect as a human being to come and talk someone's race just because they don't look like you you don't expect to come and abuse the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it does not sit right and putting in fact these people they are Muslims so if we come from our Islamic context it is not sitting well and if it is coming from humanity context, still not sitting well. I was like, the lady was surprised as me. And like, she looked at me and she was like, I feel sorry for this young woman. She was like, I feel sorry for this young girl. And you know, he lied. And then, the, what is it called? We left the lift and he kept on talking. He followed me all the way to the train we actually stood next to each other like this and all the time i was so nervous i kept on looking like this i looked at him i gave him the looks i'm telling you i gave him the looks and he kept on talking and actually he was talking inside the metro and actually when people really looked at him that was my first experience of racism living here for three years this is my fourth year okay that was my first time I experienced racism. So how did I feel? It was so bad. <laughs> I did not feel sorry for myself, but I felt sorry for him because just talking bullshit. Uh, Shanice, Shanice, yeah? your mouth is uh, moving a lot like a rat. Yappa, 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 yappa. Shut it, please. Thank you, Shanice. How comes you talk? You talk on somebody just because they are in your country and they are black and they're foreigners how do you feel who gives you the right to talk shit about someone else's our girl this old man does not understand anything he doesn't understand how the world is going but at the same time since i have seen my friends experience racism one thing i can say is that turkey it is not as racist compared to the western world actually it used to be so safe but right now 2024 i can confidently tell you the talks they have changed if you look from another side one thing i can say it is because of like we have a lot of foreigners in this country turkey has opened its doors to a lot of foreigners two inflation inflation crisis has been too much that is the two main reasons why the turks are no longer kind and uh, don't take this out of context say something about your country or even the people who live here they'll come and write in my comment section oh i've been living here seven years and have never experienced well that is good for you honey if you have never experienced any racism that is good for you honey i'm just speaking from my own perspective because I experienced racism. I have friends who experienced racism. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Everybody, like all the Turks, they are feeling, they're boiling. They are literally boiling.
This is not majority. This is the 10% of Turkish people. And there was another one. Actually, this was actually, they aired on, the, I think it was last year. Oh, is it within this year? No, that was last year. It was on the news. <clears throat> there was, I think, if I'm not wrong, it's either he, the, the guy who was being assaulted was either from Senegal or from Mali, and he was being verbally abused, being, you know, like racist from a Turkish person. This African guy, he had his two kids, and then this Turkish guy, he kept on yelling, he abused, that like they had to move from one city to another and he kept on following them, literally. And like the CCTV captured that how bad it was and actually that it was shown on the news. Yes, you will find racist Turkish people. Are they many? Are the chances so high? No, but is it going to happen? Yes, that how it is. <laughs> without sugar coating without me telling you blah 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 you know it does not happen on all of that this is my second toner so that was my experience of racism in this country and i think one thing the turkish people forget is like we live in a world whereby traveling is so easy people want to experience different countries and people interact with other nations it can be, what is it called, business, it can be tourism, it can be, you know, just working nomadically. We live in a modern world whereby countries come together, they intermingle, they travel, they experience different countries. That is what they, they forget. I always overhear people's conversation and the trains and the metros and all of that. There was, I was sitting next to another woman she was talking about like if you come to istanbul istanbul has the highest tourism literally the tourism rate it is so high so this lady she was like i am tired of these foreign people they came they made our country so bad they are all over everywhere they're actually been taking our city i am like <laughs> taze what are you saying <laughs> What are you saying, Taser? Because the country belongs to you. This foreigner person, at the end of the day, this is not his home. He will have to leave. This is your country. The country belongs to you. No one is going to take your country from you. And then, God bless. There was another, also a Turkish woman. She was explaining how the situation is. She was like, you know, our country is beautiful. And right now, Turkey is open to the world. That is where we're seeing a lot of tourists. That is why we're interacting with a lot of foreigners. She was giving her some sense. And I was like, I'm glad we have some people who think good about foreign people and all of that. But at the end of the day, I'm going to say it again. Turkey is not as racist compared to other countries, its neighbors. And uh, you people are so kind. You will find kind, kind people. And the ones who are always, hey, my God. My Kenyan side is coming out now. I'm shrubbing. <laughs> the ones who are always racist are these old tasers. This guy who he's overstressed, overstimulated, life is hard on him. Those are the people who are yelling. Those are the people who will be racist to you. You will find some sweet souls, souls that don't discriminate, souls that don't judge on how you look like, where you come from, and all of that. But you will also find these people who will literally find anything. Because you're black, because you're foreign, you will find a way to be racist to you. So, yeah, I have overheard a lot of people talking shit. You'll be like, oh, yabanji, 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 yabanji. And right now, Turkish people need to understand. Or, like, they need to know. People know their language. The majority of the students who are here, they understand the language. So, we always hear when they're talking bad about us. If you hear yabanji, just know these people are spilling hot tea. <laughs> they are spilling hot tea tea i am not lying to you hot tea wallahi so that's that is the racism racism is there you will find some nasty nasty people who will just give you looks 
who will just verbally abuse you and uh, you will find nice people and uh, you know what what surprises me is the fact that i don't understand where these racist people are coming from i always want to know how their mind functions i am like you're a human being who gave you the color you have just because you are not black you're not brown just because you are white you did not give yourself that it is god who created you the god who created you also created me and made me black if at least you could have given that color yourself you could have some rights to talk shit about somebody who's a different color but like you did not do that so where do you get that and i'm always always surprised with if the person actually is muslim because we know as a muslim racism does not exist it is not part of our religion it is like it's a foreign entity to us as the islamic religion and i am like you're a muslim and you're being racist to me are you okay is your frontal lobe working baby what are you talking about those are the two questions i usually ask myself when i see somebody being racist to me or when i see somebody being racist to someone else so that is my story time of racism in turkey i have faced it personally so it is coming from a first hand and i have seen it from people who have faced it and as much as they might have their own reasons to be racist towards maybe because of inflation maybe because there are a lot of uh, what is it called uh, foreigners in their country maybe because of i don't know religion purposes maybe because of political purposes i think they need to understand that we have can we actually even remember can we talk about the turkish presence in africa because i think turkish people don't know they have a huge presence in africa they forget that so if you're a turkish person or like if you're a random person i want to tell you we have a huge presence of turks in africa just remember that and they never face racism i don't know why when we africans come to your country or even the western world people come to your country you're being racist to them forgetting <laughs> you you also exist in our countries do you get what i'm saying make it make sense make it make sense because to me it does not <clears throat> i'm like bro if i tell you the amount of turks we have in kenya huge the whole of africa huge their presence it is huge you are only seeing definitely it is so true the amount of foreigners here they become so much turkey has a huge 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 foreigners so i feel i feel the people honestly i feel the people and i'm not gonna attack them for that i literally feel them because every year it is actually increasing the foreigners is increasing but then something else the turkish uh, government they refuse to give up they used to give residence permit to tourists they cancel that after seeing the amount of foreigners they've literally cut out of that and now i think they I've, i was reading one of the blogs they introduced the nomadic visa yeah but like at the end of the day we are not here to stay as a student, we're coming to learn, we go. Tourists, they come to see the country because Allahumma barik. MashaAllah, tabarakallah, Taki is beautiful. I don't want to hear anybody arguing with me. Taki is one of the beautiful countries in the world. Taki is honestly beautiful. And I will encourage everybody to just come for a holiday, just one week. Yeah, and leave. Turkey is beautiful. Yeah, that was my little yapa yapa. <laughs> my little yapa yapping session about racism and how I experienced it. At the end of the day, I didn't take it that personally because 
I'm somebody who loves positivity. And I was like, the guy is having a bad day. There is no way you can be racist to me. I'm a human being like you. You talk, I talk back. That is the energy I give. But I was like, okay, let's just slide it. But you know, sometimes the, the stories you hear, it is so bad and even so worse than mine. That is how bad it is. Yeah, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed and I hope at least you have, you've understood the levels of racism that exist in this country. And yeah, I don't want this video to get long. And so thank you so much if you've reached all the way here. So have a good time. If it's a night, have a good night. If it's a good day, if it's a day, have a good day. And I wish you all the best. Bye, bestie.